Okay, good afternoon everyone. So let's proceed sa aton nga uh, next topic sa anatomy and physiology of farm animals, the respiratory system. So as previous topics natin sa circulatory, circulatory system, di ba, uh, mention nga ang lungs is the one that carries the, or lungs is the area in which the, the deoxygenated blood was converted or was formed into oxygenated, or let's say, ang oxygen na ara sa blood cells, gin butang sa red blood cells in exchange of carbon dioxide, kung dito sa lungs. So, of course, sa lungs, dito gin mismo ang main source of oxygen. So, ano ang system nga involved nila? That is the respiratory system. So sa sining topic, we will going to discuss the anatomy and the function of the respiratory system of the farm animals. So as you can see sa sining nga figure, as an introductory, so dere the part is we start kita mismo sa nose. Actually, hindi lang dere ma-highlight pero of course the nostril or the nose is the two so, ng passageway dere nga mat kung diin gaagi ang air nga papasulod. Actually, hindi malang nose ang main possible sa lungs ang air. Bisang ganyan ka inhale. Bisang kita nga tao ka inhale ta through our mouth. So, kaya kung makita na ito sa cross-section or sa, sa dissected nga diagram. So, there is a nose. Maagi ni siya sa pharynx. Diba? So, kita nyo? Nose, the concha, nasal cavity, madre, siya sa pharynx. And then, if we will pass through air through the oral cavity. May common passageway yapon sa pharynx. So that is why you can still breathe using your mouth even close ang imong nose. And then there's what we call the nasal cavity and mga concha, concha ni, or the concha. Actually, ang function di ladere is to humidify the air. Especially, kikin ang lamandaan, ang air nga masulod sa aton lawas should be warm enough for physiologic function. That is why the Regina humidify na din siya. So once maagi siya sa nose or sa oral cavity through the pharynx, maderetso na siya sa trachea. Uh, pharynx, trachea. And then take note, trachea is located ventral to the esophagus. So just like they call natin sa, ano, sa anatomical terms, di ba? in relation to other organs. So, in here, trachea is located ventral to the esophagus. Kaya araw siya sa dalong. Okay? So, masubay ta from nose to the trachea to the bronchi, bronchioles, and to the lungs. So, ang importance sa respiratory system, yes, it involves the exchange of gases between blood and the external environment. Also, animals may survive some days without food, but only for minutes without food oxygen. That's how vital oxygen is. And that's how vital the respiratory system of an animal is. Okay. The respiratory organs or the apparatus, so just like I mentioned, the nostril or the nares, the external opening, and then the nasal cavity open externally at the nostrils and communicates with pharynx to posterior nares. So, divided into left, right and left by cartilaginous nasal septum. And the pharynx, it is the common passage of air and food. That is why I said again, you can still breathe using your mouth. The larynx or the voice box consists of five cartilages. The cricoid, the arytenoid, take note two. So meaning there are two arytenoid cartilages, thyroid, and the epiglottis. And then after the larynx, trachea, masunod, or the windpipe. So correction na kagina, after the pharynx, may larynx pa tang mga agian, or the voice box, and then trachea or the windpipe. So connects larynx to the lungs and divides into bronchi, which form into smaller branches, pa, which is called bronchioles. And then lungs is the cone-shaped structure base resting against the cranial side of the diaphragm. So this is the main organ of respiration, and it is divided into lobes, the apical, cardiac, diaphragmatic, and intermediate. So apical, sa cranial part, cardiac on the middle, especially atong lapit sa heart, diaphragmatic, diaphragmatic or the caudal kasi syempre yung dapit sila sa diaphragm and the intermediate lobe or the right lung. Kung magmangkot ka mo, sino si diaphragm? Actually, diaphragm is the muscle that is responsible for breathing in and breathing out. So, somewhat siyang ga-provide negative pressure nga kung mag-act 
na para pala mag-breath ng animal. So imagine if buslot ang diaphragm. There will be no negative pressure so that is why budlay maginhawa ang animal nga tuslokon ang diaphragm. So amo na siyang careful na to especially during surgery kung open ka sa abdomen gina make sure gid na nga hindi ma pinch or ma puncture si diaphragm kay budlay gina ma, ano ang negative pressure. Okay so this is the typical or the comparative anatomy of the lungs. So as you can see sa horse left right intermediate lobe so can see there is no subdivision like do typical do two lobes lagi namakit anaton whereas the shape that is subdivided pa ring apical 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 cardia intermediate and then the diaphragmatic and then pag abot sa ox oh sorry okay lain pagid ang ano so actually so can see different animals have different or or structure of the lungs so amo na siya ang pagstudy sa comparative anatomy although they are all lungs pero lain sa structure especially essential na siya kung mag-identify bala during mga cases nga pakita lang sa imong organs tapos without identifying the or without representing any other organs for example baga lang ihatag sa imo identify kasi ano ni baga so at least maka-identify ka kung iya naka animal or kung hindi maka animal kasi ano na siya so amo na siya ang application sa comparative anatomy Okay, just like I said, you know, the, the trachea is divided into principal bronchi and then there is uh, cartilage and take note that trachea is regulated by the tracheales muscle. So, just like I said, you know, not hindi lang GI ang mind, muscle and the skeletal muscle. So, pati ang trachea may tracheales muscles. Take note of that. And then this is the mucosa or the mucous membrane. Okay, so... Na branch na siya from trachea to principal bronchi it is further branch into bronchioles up to the alveoli and take note bronchi bronchus tertiary primary secondary tertiary bronchus maabot sa bronchioles and then maabot sa alveoli sa alveoli take note the rini gap ka undergo ang exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide so kay dire ni maagi ang mga blood vessels na dire ni maagi mga blood vessels tapos ang mga carbon dioxide alin sa red blood cells ginakaya sa red blood cells ma transfer sa lungs tapos ng oxygen dida mabalik makadto sa red blood cells amo na siyang nakatabo na exchange of gases or the exchange of gases takes place in the alveoli set okay regulation of respiration involves both external and internal respiration so external respiration the thin membranes of the alveolar wall and capillaries facilitate the movement of oxygen into the blood and movement of carbon dioxide into the alveolar air so and then external uh, internal respiration so familiar man ko siguro nga sa biology there is a respiration inside the cells amo ni siya ang internal inspe ah, respiration so amo siya pero nakatabo sa lungs that is external respiration and the process involves the following inspiration inhale expiration exhale so amo na siya ang mnemonics inspiration i inhale expiration e exhale Okay, forms of respiration, there is terminologies involved, the apnea, no respiration, yopnea, normal quiet respiration, dyspnea, difficulty in respiration, hyperpnea, increased depth or rate of breathing or both, polypnea, rapid shallow breathing, costal or thoracic breathing, considerable movement of ribs, and abdominal or diaphragmatic breathing. That is why, na magbantay ko mga, actually, may arang na costal thoracic breathing and abdominal breathing normal lang sa mga animals, or specific animal species, Ara ba lang kisa mas anad sila sa diaphragmatic or abdominal breathing kaysa sa thoracic breathing. Bisan gani sa mga singers kay daw gina-train sila kung in what part mag costal breathing, in what part mag abdominal breathing, especially para makabirit. So pwede mo na siya mahimo. Bisan ikaw gani nga tawo, you can do costal or thoracic breathing. Amo na siya and then abdominal breathing gud bala na gid ang imo nga. Yan. So, amo na ang uh, forms of respiration. Okay. So, that's it for the respiratory system. So, take note the main function of respiratory system is to deliver oxygen from the environment to the system. And in exchange, it exhales si carbon dioxide. Okay. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, that you will learn. And for future videos, just wait lang. Subscribe to my channel. And...
Oh, sorry, sorry. And God bless. <laughs>